On today's episode of Spending Days on Contraptions That Make My Life a Microscopic Amount Easier... Thank you, Jeremy. <laughs> Right, so if you ask me, a robot butler needs to be able to do two things. One, grab food, and two, bring that food to me. Now this part's tricky because we basically need to find a way to get our desired food to the same location over and over again. Ideally, we'd use something like a vending machine, but obviously there are some logistical issues with putting a literal vending machine in my house, so we're not going to do that. Psych! <laughs> I found this bad boy second hand for 250 bucks. It's it's not in good condition, but I think it does actually work. Oh, that A1 looks pretty good. Let's give this a crack, shall we? Oh my god. No! Are you kidding me? Oh, you've gotta be kidding me. Oh my god! <laughs> Dude, this is going to be perfect. Literally perfect. He doesn't look much like a robot butler though, does he? I think we can change that. <laughs> Holy crap. <clears throat> um, aside from feeling like Darth Vader, this suit sucks. <laughs> Almost a year ago now, I made a video where I built a train for my cat. Yep. In that video, I used a robot that can be programmed to follow coloured lines. So I'm thinking, if we set up one coloured line from the vending machine to me, and then another coloured line from me back to the vending machine, all that's left to do is give our robot a little bit of a makeover. Hello, my name is Jeremy. Oh, hey Jeremy, how are you doing? Pretty bad. I was created solely to carry food. That's a good point. Oh, look at him, he's so cute. So if we now attach our robot to our robot, <laughs> he should just kind of tow him around. Maiden test flight of Jeremy in three. Two, one. Oh, Jeremy, I'm so sorry. Ladies and gentlemen, the time is now. I have been working on this for about three and a half days now and I am going to lose it if this doesn't work. I'm also gonna lose it if it does work, so. <laughs> It's a lose-lose, but in a good way. You can see our track leading out to the kitchen here. Everything in the kitchen is completely set up. I'll explain how it works in a second. Actually, I'll explain how it works now. <laughs> so this little fan contraption is remotely triggered to press the numbers A1. That'll cause the Doritos to fall into Jeremy's hands and Jeremy will bring it along the blue track to me. I take the Doritos, I eat the Doritos, and he goes back on the green track. Dude, I cannot believe this is real. Maybe it's not real. Maybe this is all a dream. <laughs> Jeremy the Robot Butler in three, two, one. No. No! Oh my god! Get out does this work? Something has to go wrong. No way does this work first time. Nothing has ever worked first time before. No way! Hey buddy! How's it going? What are you take? Are you joking? <laughs> Jeremy, thank you so much. You're my saviour. I'm actually full, Jeremy. Do you mind taking that back? <laughs> Off he goes! Oh, good boy! Round two, baby. Here we go. Here he comes! Here he comes! Get out of town! Get out of town! Seriously, just leave! Well, my friends, that is gonna be it for me for now. Me and Jeremy are bonded for life. 
Shout out to Jeremy for doing all the dirty work. Shout out to me for creating him. I will see you all very, very soon. Thank you very much for watching. Peace out. And bye bye. I am already five in my robot years. <sighs> wow, so you must be like 10 billion by the time you die. Actually, 400 trillion, oh my God.